something and we got tangled up and spun out. And Fireball come around there, I don't think he had uh, seen anything. There is a tremendous black cloud of smoke. It looks like a, a gasoline bomb was dropped back there. car was laying upside down. I don't know how the world even got out. And he come crawling out the window and he started running uh, down towards me and Ned, Ned has looked closer to it than I was. Our cars wound up about 30 feet apart on the racetrack. I had gotten out of mine. It was burning, but had not started burning inside yet. Just as I did, I looked and saw a fireball was coming out of his car, trying to get out of it. And the first thing he said when I got to him, he was conscious, he was not injured in the wreck. He said, oh my God, Ned, help me, I'm on fire. And he was a, just a solid place of fire. Burned his clothes off from everything except uh, his helmet and belt and shoes. Roberts succumbed to his injuries five weeks later. You know, I think I would pretty often. It, it's, it's just an awfulest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I was a great friend. Our boss, me and him, run around together a lot. That put a bad feeling in racing for me for a long, long time. By the end of the 1966 season, Fireball's friends hung up their helmets. Fans, especially those that were sitting over there in turn two, were, were the worst of it was felt.